the second word is um okay so this is bible verse and it says for i am persuaded that sorry i had to find it for i am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor powers nor things present nor things to come nor height nor depth nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of god which is christ jesus our lord and the pastor said something today which is an offhand comment kind of which is that every day every second of our lives god is showing us how nothing can separate us from his love uh, what's the words all around us god is persuading us that nothing will separate us from his love everywhere i look the fact that gravity still works or that my food tastes good or that i even have taste buds to taste it the fact that little drops of one night i was walking home i was walking home it was probably like it was really late it was really late it was probably even early i might have been past midnight honestly i don't know i wasn't looking at the time super dark super late all by myself and i'm walking and it was raining earlier that day like maybe like 10 hours ago it had been raining i'm walking and this leaf like a drop just like the place is dry it was dry but this random drop of water just falls from this leaf and it in and it's lit by these like the lamp the lamp um the lampshades was like this old-fashioned looking lampshade um and then like the drop it just looks so picturesque like a movie or something and then i looked at that i thought to myself god knew that that drop was going to fall down in that second and he knew that i was going to see it and just feel this overwhelming peaceful admiration of just the beauty of the world and of water and it's like that one drop dropped for me no one else in the whole world saw that but me and god wanted me like god cares about me so much that he'd even allow a little drop of water to fall just when i'm walking past i was the only one there no one if i wasn't there no one would have known that even no, like god is always showing us how much he loves us and i think that gratitude is a key to miracles gratitude is a key to blessings and god loves a grateful heart and when someone does something nice for you you know you just want to thank them so start thanking god for the little things you don't have to wait for something big to happen thank god that you can taste that you can blink that your makeup turned out nice this morning thank god that your t-shirt matches your trousers you know thank god that you're not, you know you can see colors i don't know like just thank god for the tiny things even if it's just a drop of water falling from the sky because i think it brings you closer to god I think it's brought me closer to God, um, thanking him for every little thing that I can remember to. Um, and the second part of this word comes from another scripture, which is Isaiah 65, 24. And it says, uh, 23, 24, sorry. They will not labour in vain, nor will they bear children doomed to misfortune, for they will be a people blessed by the Lord, and they and their descendants with them before they call i will answer while they are still speaking i will hear now as you begin this constant dialogue with god where you're thanking him for every little thing in your life you know just talking to him about everything that happens to you because god cares about every tiny little detail the tiniest detail ever if there's an eyelash in your eye you can talk to god about it like he literally cares about everything once you start this ongoing conversation with god and your thoughts like just constantly thanking him talking to him about your day what's going on how you're feeling um what's i say <laughs> know that before you've spoken he's already heard you that promise that i read from isaiah about um god hearing before um you speak and answering before you ask that's a promise over the descendants of um i think it's the descendants of abraham basically it's christians it's a promise that has passed down to christians through jesus dying on the cross okay that's all you need to know the promise applies to us <laughs> okay so yeah know that one you are not doomed anything that you think like i know i have things in my life that i feel like they're never gonna go away i'm gonna be like doomed in this area of my life forever you cannot be doomed because god promised that you're not there is a way out and i love action movies in an action movie the moment that the main protagonist discovers that it's possible for them to get out of whatever tricky situation they're in that's it they're determined and that's how i live like in life as well as long as i know there's a way out i'm gonna find it as long as I know there could be a way out, I'm going to find it. So finding out today that I'm not doomed, like God has promised me that I'm not doomed, and God can't lie, it has to be true. It just motivated me so much to keep trying to find a way out of my struggles, out of my issues. Not that life will ever not have struggles, but yeah, there's none that you can't overcome. Um, and yeah, that's the word. I hope you enjoyed that word. I also put another word up this morning. Um, go watch that as well. And God bless you. Thank you for watching.